Hi there. For those of you that are interested, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up a uh, Box.net uh, account or at least to upload files and folders. First of all, this is kind of the Box.net setup. So after you have already registered and, and signed in and, and created your account and set it up with a nice little email like you see I have here and everything like that, you'll have a page that looks very similar to this. Now you won't have these folders yet and I'll show you how to make those in just a second right here on the new folder. Click. But um, what I wanted to talk about first and foremost is the most essential part to Box.net and that is the ability to upload folders or excuse me, upload files. First of all, you'll see that I'm only using 1.2 megabytes of my 1 gigabyte of storage. That is not me bragging. That is just a nice little update that you can have right along the right-hand side. Everybody's is already preset to do that uh, as soon as you register. Now to upload something, I usually go into the fo a folder that I've created, for instance, my language arts folder. And I have a few things in here. And I can just click Upload. Now, it says I am uploading to this folder. That's perfect. When I click Add Files, I can choose anything from anywhere on my computer or even on the data server. So if I'm here and I'm going into my data server stuff, I can choose from anything I have that um, I want to upload directly to my page. If I have anything I select, I can just hit Choose. And then I'm not going to hit Upload because I don't want this on my page. But all I do is click Upload, and it would go directly into this folder. Now to create folders, the nice thing about it is if I go back to all files here, all I have to do is click new folder, give it a name. I always have it available so that people can be invited to upload or download files from it, um, just so that it's easy to access through my web page. I click OK, and away I go with my new folder. Now the thing that I've set up on my folder that might be different from yours is that I have a hidden folder, and my hidden folder I don't share on my web page. The reason I don't add my hidden folder to my web page is so that I can actually store everything that I want on here for all my classes. Then all I have to do is go over here to this little arrow, click, and I can move it to whichever folder I desire. So that later on, after I've had this for a year or two, I don't have to worry about, does, oh, do I have to upload that again or not? So. I hope that answers most questions about just basic usage of your box.net folders. Later on, I will show you how to share those on your web page. But uh, yeah, hopefully that answers any and all questions. Have a good day, and I'm sure I'll hear from you soon.